That right there, that's where we're staying. That's in India. And now we're in Nepal. And it actually feels like Nepal over here. Totally different. I don't know how. Good morning from Darchula. Today is the day we leave. Um, we stayed over here at the tourist rest house, which is right near the river. Really nice place. The rooms are quite spacious. Everything's okay. Hot water. All of that's good. But uh, two things I'll warn you about. One is do not use their linen. Uh, on, on the first day, I made the mistake of using the blanket for quite a while. And Karthik used it for a bit as well. I started sneezing and coughing and it's just been terrible ever since. We then started using our sleeping bags, which is the most sensible thing to do, but just don't use it. I definitely had an allergic reaction to the linen yeah, over here. Yeah. The blankets are really bad. They yeah. started giving me allergy. Yeah. My skin started itching and I had to throw them out. Correct. So we've just like dumped them over here, somewhere over here. Anyway, the other thing is, if you're ordering anything, always order two, two items. <laughs> we tried ordering... Like food, when we got here, we were like, can we have a kichdi and one, uh, what? Pulao. Egg pulao. And he's like, no, there are two of you. Both of you order the same thing. We will make only one thing. So remember that. If there are two of you, you both have to eat the same, same thing. thing. But uh, the food was quite good. Everything was quite nice. And uh, I think Dharchula and everything that we've done here has been quite fun. Yeah. Yeah. And now we're ready to head further. Today we go to Munsiari. The bikes are all loaded up. We're all geared up, ready to go. Yeah. Just go take a look at that river one more time and say bye to Nepal. As you can see, they've released water from the dam. Now this side of the river is filling up as well. Otherwise, it was only on the other side of the rock. Okay, towards Munsiari. <laughs> My bike, look at how <laughs> filthy it's become. I need to get it washed at some point, but it looks quite rugged right now. Shall we go? Let's go. Polama? Come on. <laughs> well done. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, yes, sir. Next time. The ride from Dharchala to Munsiari is a fairly short one, a little over 100 kilometers. And from what we'd heard from the locals, we could expect to find tarmac all the way. We needed to ride back towards Pithoragad until a town called Joljivi, from where we'd branch off on the road towards Madkot and Munsiari. When we came that day, there were barely any vehicles. Today, look at this chaos. Doesn't look like there's a fuel pump. It's okay, it's only about 67 kilometers. You should be okay, no? Uh -huh. 67 kilometers you can do. I think so. We'll find out.
Look at this place, folks. How about that? To be honest, I didn't really have very high expectations for this route, given that we were coming from East Uttarakhand, which is more remote. But after we took the branch off, it actually got a lot prettier. The trees are a lot more colorful. You've got different colors rather than just the green or whatever. And a spot like this, I mean, this white sand and blue water, colorful landscape, brown mountains, and currently a hazy sky. But this is just beautiful. So definitely above expectation and uh, a route that's worth doing. I'm glad we came this way. And I think the bike also looks really good in this setting. So far it's been blending in with the mountains a lot because it's a dark color. But against this white sand, it pops. So, <laughs> cheap thrills. Let's see. Come on, x -Files. Yeah, baby! So easy. So easy on this bike. Atom and Bundy. Yo, you're gonna dig in. You're gonna dig in, come. Yeah, we have to pull it. Oh yeah, come on. Wait, I need something to grip. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah! Oh yeah! Which way are we going? Wait, wait, wait. Well done. Steady throttle, okay? Let's go. You need you need to be moving. Handle is not turning. Oh. Are you going forward? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, ba. Wait, just leave the bike here. You pull from the back. Okay? It's not in gear, no? Or is it? No. It is, it is. It is, okay. I got the clutch. Come on, one, two. Okay, wait. Huh? You push from the back. Oh. Okay, neutral. You push. Come on, walk the back. Here we go. No brakes. First time. I was pushing and it's not brake. I tried stopping your bike with a front brake. You keep going. Why they give the lever, I don't know. It doesn't work anyway. Well done. Thank you. I love you, Dachello.
है बिल्ली क्या नाम है उसका स्वीटी आपने नाम रखा आप इस गाड़ी चलाते हो अच्छा दिखाओ ना मुझे स्वीटी ओके ओके पकड़ो चलो बाय I think we've just entered the Munsiyari district. Or maybe we did earlier, but there was some sort of a check post there. Hey, shortcut. Bandi is going that way. I'm going to go this way. Maybe it's a shortcut. <laughs> You're gonna get your one day. Shortcut success. Except that I'm right behind an army truck, so not really going anywhere. Well done, Bundy and Atom. From what I'd heard about this part of Uttarakhand, I'd expected that we would stumble upon some splendid views of the mountains as we drew closer to Munsiyari. But courtesy of a thick haze, possibly caused by the widespread forest fires the last few kilometers of the ride were nothing more than a bumpy and steep climb to higher altitudes this was a slight disappointment in what was otherwise one of the nicest routes we didn't yet We just reached uh, Munsiyari and Mr. Instagram is already busy posting stuff. Um, I on the other hand have no network um, and currently apparently you get a view of the Himalayas Panchchuli and uh, even Nanda Devi on some days apparently over here but it hasn't rained in the last 6-7 days so only if it rains do we stand a chance of seeing the Himalayas the mountain range over here in the morning so we're keeping our fingers crossed hoping it will rain today yeah, until now oh you can see a little bit but the gopro won't capture it it's like so far away can you see it yeah 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 it has Man. just come the sun has just come over the snow caps i really hope i really hope it rains so far we've been hoping that it won't rain but today having reached munsiyari i hope that it rains the ride was not too long we sort of elongated it because we made a, quite a few stops it was about 120 kilometers beautiful beautiful ride definitely something you should do if you visit uttarakhand and uh, hopefully all our effort will pay off at least at least a glimpse of the mountains would be nice i will let you know how it goes in the next video thanks for watching i catch you guys in the next one very nice teach me how to do this instagram thing no why <laughs> i don't know how to do instagram you do now. much better than i do I am only learning small things how to put music I learned from you. <laughs> yeah, but now you're putting all soulful music and all of that meaningful lyrics. Ayyo. <laughs> I don't know how to do all of these things. There's always things to learn.